I've long been an admirer of Sarah McIntyre's exuberant and kind-hearted craft. She always has something to say and really thinks about how she's going to say it, whether it's the materials she uses or the words she uses. Here she wraps her warm heart around the welcoming of strangers. And look, there's a welcoming Mac right on the cover as she invites you in for tea, cake and cacophony. High on the roof, above the city, Mr. Pigeon had the latest news. You've got rats in your flats, he burbled with glee. They moved in today on the ground floor. Rats, squeezed the bunnies. Rats, 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 yippee. I love the fact that the carrier pigeon announcing this news is in fact dressed like the Landry gentry who love to shoot grouse. I also love how they're bouncing down the stairs like big rubber balls here. Well, there's plenty of room and quite enough light for the moment. The bunnies were so excited, they bounced down the stairs to tell their big sister lettuce. Guess what, shouted Piper. We have rats in our flats. It's another brilliant page, this. Um, <laughs> lettuce's room getting utterly trashed by the overexcited bunnies. There's a, a draft board being disabled, a tower of bricks tumbling. Someone's got their head in the upturned pan of spaghetti. And look, of course there's a family portrait. There's always a family portrait and um, bunnies do love to breed. Lettuce said, hmm, rats. I've never lived with rats before. We should all go and say hi. And of course they should, of course they should. However, their neighbor Vern is the first to offer up one note of caution. And there is Vern. Vern and Lettuce, you might remember from Sarah McIntyre's comic, Vern and Lettuce. Rats, mused Vern. I don't think rats are very tidy neighbors. We need to make sure they keep the place clean. Let's gather everyone up in the building and figure out what to do. And that seems okay, but without giving too much away, this is the crossroads. This is where natural inquisitiveness uh, excitedness and enthusiasm gives way to unnatural, ill-informed gossip. Walter, Matilda, said Vern, we have rats in our flats. We need to make sure the rats know our rules about keeping this place spick and span. Rats, grunted Walter. Oh no, Matilda huffed. Heavens, rats are messy and they smell bad too. This is awful news. They're messy, are they? Have you seen all these pots and pans piled up unwashed? Sarah's very clever in never pointing things like that out, leaving you to spot them instead. Have you spotted also how the staircase is growing more crowded, more dingy, and the bunnies are looking slightly more dubious? Everyone hopped and they trotted and they tottered downstairs. Over the next few pages we get to see that the flats are populated by all sorts of animals from all over the globe. There are polar bear, there are bison, and everyone's getting on in perfect harmony because they're established neighbours, they know each other, they care about wherever they've come from, however far away. Pity the poor rats and their put-about rumours. And my this is a great example of Sarah McIntyre's placement of lettering. Everything fits into the pages just so. Here, the words on every staircase. Everyone hopped and they trotted and they tottered and they padded. And have you noticed that Sarah adds a new verb every time there's a new animal or a new family? And the verbs are in capital letters. Not only that, but their letters wobble up and down as they hop and they trot and they totter. Oh, and then it gets really dark as they hopped and trotted and tottered and patted and clattered and trip over their own ill-informed gossip and unnecessary panic into a great big heap on the floor. Dare they knock on the door though? I'm not going to show you what lies inside. I've taken you far further than I would on the shop floor through any book. 
But what I will say is a little more about Sarah McIntyre's craft. Quite often, she, um, she uses very, very excited pen lines and, and, and dazzling colours. Here, she's gone for pencils and pastel colours and sometimes pastel textures because, firstly, they're very good for bunny fur, but also it allows her to more carefully control the atmosphere. It's, again, all part of the storytelling. I would like to reassure you, however, that by the time we come out, harmony has been restored. There's a great sense of community here. And I don't think it's a coincidence that for the very first time since the rooftops, we see daylight coming in. Thank you, thank you, thank you, they shout. See you soon, Jake burped. Rats make the best cake. I want to be a rat when I grow up. <laughs> Me too.